it was the time of times, the story of stories, the tell of tells. So few have heard this tale, but I could never forget. A tale of men and dragons, of kingdoms and sorcery, of steel and magic, and of good and evil. has been passed through the generations so that history will remember the silent Tell me, what do you know of dragons? Are they large beasts? Why, of course, of course. Do you know that they breathe flame? Surely, surely. But are they monsters? Ah, no, 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 no. Now, I shall tell you what I know of dragons, and of the tale of one who suffered many burdens in the name of goodness and love and triumph over evil. Diego, the prince, child of the great heart kingdom of Toshan, destined for greatness and son of the powerful king and queen, it is here that this story shall begin, at his childhood. For his life was blessed with goodness from the beginning. Beautiful music forever filled his still sheltered world, and pure of heart it made him. His mother and father, the great rulers of the kingdom, allowed it, for they allowed all music and saw the happiness it brought to him in their lands. But there were some that would try to change this. As royal advisor, I, Tatar, have been here from the beginning. And so has Sothan, master of battle and crafter of schemes. I suspected his dark turnings long ago, but a fool I was to not act on them then. Long had he been poisoning the minds of the king and queen right before my nose. Deceptive and evil, his goal was to stop the beautiful music that powered the land and bring about a time of great silence and despair that only he would rule. When his darkness became clear to even the king and queen, it was I that was tasked with his banishment. Chained and cast into the dark lands, his evil seemed all but over, but I knew that one day it might return. But I go further than I should. The king and queen, no longer gripped by Sothan's power, let the music flourish in their lands. And Diego, with his two faithful servants, Cali Doodle and Diddly Dee, continued to live happily within the great castle. And as he grew, so did his valiancy and bravery, for remember, he was destined for greatness. He was to marry the beautiful and loving princess of Nairu when he came of age, a plan set in place long ago by both kingdoms. It was their union that would unite the lands when the time was right, for there was always imbalance as long as the lands stayed separate, and imbalance breeds and feeds evil. Slowly but surely, 